This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time for the final set of mission races in Gran Turismo 6, the super licensed mission races. We have Prototype Racing Car Battle, Dream Car Battle, White Hot Shamani Showdown, Close Combat Battle at Brands Hatch, and Old vs. New Ferrari or 4 GT Showdown. We went from Ford, now we're going to... Damn it, I fucked this up. We went from Ferrari, now we're going to Ford. Okay, whatever. Anyways, Prototype Racing Car Battle. Time to use the best wedge, the Mazda 787B. We basically go through the final section of Le Mans from what it looks like. You are allowed to laugh at my stupidity chat. That is fine. I do it all the time. So 43.5 seconds is the goal and um, we're on hearts. Yes, the best Dorito. Only the best chips in this in this particular stream. Okie dokie. Uh, track limits in sport do not apply in six. They're stricter here. I forgot about that. So easily around that first prototype, we have the Pojo ahead. That's a 908. Yep, 908. Remember, don't run too wide. Are the Ford Chicane pit limit or nope? Those track limits are, can be abused. Okay, perfect. I just wanted to make sure that I could actually do that, but um, yeah. Okay, perfect. Crisp sandwich of bacon and cheese. No. One nations with this car. Oh yes. No wonder why you have your um. Russ's Discord? Okay, that, he gets a he gets a pass because it, it, since it's in Russ's Discord, it's fine because he's Russ Russ is the best floof. We all know that. Anyways, <coughs> excuse me. Time for the dream car battle. Special stage route five with the Citroen the GT by Citroen, which we drove this in the um, GT series. It's okay, it's pretty much three quarters of special stage route five. Fuck it. I mean, I've tried it too, but that's like something I did in high school when, you know, or when me, my family and I were even poorer than we are now. Just the means of survival. Anyways, dream car battle, as I mentioned before, like in the dream car championship video, it's just all fantasy race cars. We're using the Defy Mobile. As I think Wheaties called it, I don't remember who called it that. There's the Challenger we used in the World Touring Car Series, which was... Oh my god. I look at that car now, and all I can think about is just Sonic fanfiction, because we read World War II Dragon while driving that car. Might as well be. Oh, fuck me, dude. That's right, the walls are closer in, they're closer in this particular game. Now, this is a track that hardly got any love in this game, now that I really think about it. In this game and in 5, dude, you don't really see Special Stage Route 5 used too much in the events. Which is a real shame. Nah, fuck that. I know the... Fuck that shit. I know. I know for a fact that people love looking at LMP cars and thumbnails, but you know what? We need to show Special Stage Route 5 some love. This is gonna be the thumbnail. I know, right? And dude, it looks all futuristic and shit. This was almost the MT6 car. Oh, dude, KC, yes. KC was fun until uh, work, some uh, trying to graduate from community college, and then my depression got in the way. Shamani, which is going to be the host of our third mission race. Bro, the Gen 1 MT6 livery is the best. I love I like the Gen 2 livery, but the like the first red and white one with the black stripes. I think that was your best work. Not gonna lie. Alright, so we're in the Lancer Evolution 10 rally car. The design would have been different. Damn. That would have been pretty crazy. See how that would have came out. Well, it turns out that my uh 
first attempt was actually really goddamn slow. I gotta pick up the pace. Hey, DK. How's it going, dude? Welcome to the stream. I think it was stuck being stuck behind the um, Renault R5 here that causes me the, the gold time. Yeah, just lifting. Lifting through that section because I didn't know where the hell I was going because I couldn't see. This should be good enough for gold now, I think. Because we weren't too far off, even without the wreck at the very end there. So it's crucial we get around the Impreza ASAP. Okay, that's a gold. That's a gold, that's a gold, that's a gold. Wow, that was, that was actually kind of challenging. Too bad we didn't have more of this in the game. Okay, we're getting a thumbnail from here. I really like the fact we passed the old Lancer with the new Lancer. Honestly, that's actually sick. If you can only see Ender's reaction to show the early concepts. Dude, I haven't even seen the early concepts. Do you have any still? That'd be pretty sick to see where the MC6 livery could have gone. Honestly, like, as much as I love Back from Dinner, nice. What you have for dinner. Um, as much as I love single liveries. Hydrate? Oh fuck. I'll do it I'll do it after we're done with the missions. Have on Discord somewhere? We'll do. I'll check it out then. Um, as much as I love teams that do single liveries, like PX7's livery looks fucking amazing. Um, VQS has a really badass green livery. I do like and MC6 has, you know, the red and white ones. Like, I do kind of like at the same time like the the freedom. Like, the okay, fourth attempt. This is not difficult. I just keep making mistakes. I keep spinning or I keep getting stuck behind cars and. In my last attempt, I literally forgot to shift down a gear. Okay, I'm definitely faster. Just much, much more faster than the previous attempt, for sure. We might be able to, ugh, Jesus, we might be able to get... Yep, we got him before the third corner. Very good. Yeah, very easy. This is the only GT you haven't played? Well, it's nothing special. I mean, it's it's good. It's a lot more simplistic than the other Gran Turismo games. Like, it's not very... It's just... It's short, easy. Fun to pick up once. And until we... Until modders get the Gran Turismo 6 Master Mod working with the land mode and everything. Whenever that happens. Not really worth playing too much, in, in my opinion. Anyways, time for the final mission of the entire game. And this one's actually going to be pretty fun. Full Nürburgring Nordschleife, old versus new 4 GT showdown. We're going to be driving the old school 4 GT40, and I'm pretty sure the opponent's going to be a 06 GT. Write down ideas. Go for it. I don't mind. Share your ideas. Obviously, your ideas are your own and shit, but like, I want to hear what goes through your head. I'll end up one race as well. If you mod your PS3 and you have the end or 37th, I know we we're far down, but so, oh my god, these cones! Are you fucking serious? Oh come on, dude! There's cones there. Okay, so we had all these cones in the beginning, and then at the very end, they gave us a bunch of. Wow. Okay. Dude, the, the, the Gran Turismo Sport Instinct kicks in. That's the thing. The GT Sport Instinct kicks in with, with um, taking the track limits. Like, for example, using the pit exit here to get a better entry into T1. But we literally had all those cones in the beginning and then no cones until the, the very end there. That fucking sucks, man. Easy challenge otherwise, but... 
that's really damn lame. I mean, we'll probably get a better time anyways doing this the second time. Because we'll easily get around the GT instead of getting held up in the same corner. That sucks, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, keep this in mind. Blue and black, flames on the front. GT40 tribute, NASCAR inspired design, carving red. Those all sound like good ideas. Damn, this sucks, dude. Again, as much as... I, I ignored my chat for a little bit. Just to make sure that I can not fail this by going off track. And yet, we hit a fucking cone that I didn't even realize was there. I mean... I, I saw those, the, second, the first set of cones and I'm like, okay. I'm getting so close. Why is the fucking gardener here? You're supposed to come on Fridays, asshole. Why the fuck are you here today, dude? Yeah, this guy's supposed to come on Fridays, but I think he comes on a Thursday, but then he comes on a Wednesday, and then, like, he doesn't do his job very well. Like, he literally cuts, he, he cuts all the bushes or cuts the grass or whatever, and he starts blowing shit. He starts blowing dirt and dust into people's houses. Like, yeah, dude, okay. Which means, for, like, the next hour or two, we're gonna just hear fucking power tools. Because he's gonna be walking up and down all the complexes here and just going, Arr! Great. But that's fine. We're, what time is it anyways? Okay. We're probably going to cut it short after this anyways. But we're really close to the end. We already went four hours, which was my target time anyways. And there you probably heard the, the weed whacker or whatever the hell it is. Turn into the fight. Yeah, exactly. Do I like the new Ford GT? I love it. I think it's a great car, dude. I think it's a great machine. Like, four GTs in general are thumbs up for me, bro. I love all three generations of it. I kind of wish that Ford was still using the GT in, in Le Mans competition, but at the same time, if they are indeed going to do like a LMDH, like a hypercar or like a DPI 2.0 or whatever the fuck it's going to be called, then that will be amazing. Break stuff by Limp Bizkit. Get... No, dude, are you serious? Wait. What? You can go off track? Um. Okay. Fuck it. I mean, we're gonna keep going. Hodge, I'm the same way, dude. Like, all I, all I really want, man, is like, look. So, I played GT Sport... I play the FIA races, like, competitively, but I don't really take it too seriously, and I'm not very good in the top split, but I just, I still have fun, nevertheless. Um, when it comes to GT, like, all I really want from 7 is a, a, a banger career mode. Give me a really good career mode, and, and make some changes to the FIA. Like, give us some more variety when it comes to FIA racing. You know, for the nations, give us, stop giving us N100, 200, 300 category chat, or chats, cat, category classes and everything. Um, make it one makes, like, give us weird one make car and track combinations. And then for, like, obviously, Manu, Manu's good, but, like, get rid of FFs from the Group 4 category, because as much as I love the TT and the Scirocco, it makes it a broken mess. Like, I know BOP, there's no easy fix to it, but one makes nations will solve the problem. But, um, yeah, just in general, like, I just want a really good career mode again and then a really good multiplayer experience when it comes to both lobbies and com uh, the competitive side.
Well, GT4 music, I mean, if you're talking about menu music, I get it. If you're talking about race music, Spotify. TT, yeah, exactly. TT has his own cup IRL. It's a great car and everything, and it's, it's fun to drive, but when group four races become a one make, it's annoying, dude. Like, there's so many cars in sport that I want to use and, and shit, and like this FIA exhibition was a good example of like giving us weird combos and stuff, you know what I mean? Like weird car and track combinations, and for the most part, it worked. It did its job, you know? This might not be a gold. This could be a gold, potentially, depending on how I do these last couple corners. Second gear is really short. Like, th these gears are really long on the car. I want to say it takes us a little bit less than a minute to go down the straightaway. Like, 30 seconds or so. We, we might be on, on time for a gold here. I think we'll, we might barely get it, even with our spin. We might be good. 32 cars online would be sick, Hodge. That would be freaking incredible, bro. Like, I'm all in for it. Screw pad users over. Pad nerf? Was there really a pad nerf in 2019? Well, then again, you would know. But, I mean, like, guys like Lamb still use pad, and, I mean, he's a world champion now. I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that I joined too late. Multi-class confer- Oh, my God, dude. That would be- Dude, multi-class racing would be incredible. We still got the gold by a bunch. We won by a lot still. Nice. Age pattern in sport? Ah, oh, yeah. I mean- I get it is to even out the competition and everything, but like even then it's just like just a lot of people to use it Your simple fix could literally be making the shifting times faster with paddle users like it's not really a big deal So what do we get for not final price car, but uh third to last price car oh Oh, cool. Okay, this thing. The N24 GT Academy car. I want to say this is like a GT4. If I'm not mistaken. I doubt it was faster than S16, given the fact that that's a DTM car. Yeah, it's a GT3. Oh, it's a GT3 car? Is it? I don't think so. Anyways, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 different... Wait, what? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, wait. Yeah, seven. Seven of these endurances left. And we have the coffee breaks to do left, but we are currently at 94% of the way down. Six more percent down for Gran Turismo 6 are left. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next recording session.